work. Let's go with the old Mojo rig. One odd hook, little old rattlesnake, a four inch rattlesnake. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. All right. That's a better fish. Not a huge fish. Better fish. Better. Okay. Got a little something figured out now. And these fish are warm. fish that I can catch and when I get bored with that I go home. All that is you can't make a silk purse out of Sal's ear. Kind of just have to fish what you got. Fish what you got. Sometimes I always look for something better. Well, you just gotta figure you got what you got. You know? This is as good as it's gonna get for today. 
you kill a lot of time hoping and wishing for trying to find something better a lot of times. It's right there in front of you. You just got to figure out how to make it work. Better's out there, but it's not like over on the other side of the lake. It's somewhere in this area, there's a group of big fish. Somewhere. Except there's little ones here, the big ones are here too. It's just, you got to keep covering water, working slow. Dumb fishing is really just a waste of time. You can pick up one or two. You know, if you're in a tournament, you have to get five keepers in the boat. And you're just running around looking for that you know, two, three pound bass just to get a limit of keepers. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. For me, I'm trying to look for a group of fish where I can stick. I don't know, 5, 7, 15, 20 fish for 45 minutes. And that's a matter of timing and a matter of finding the fish. You need a lot more methodical. I found that you know, working in an area instead of just ping ponging around the lake is a far better way of finding the fish than ping ponging around the lake. I'm playing like playing a band game pinball where you just bounce and bounce and bounce. And certainly you don't want to just stay in one spot all day like this guy right here. And those guys have been there for 50 minutes and they're probably there before I even get them. You know, maybe they caught one bass, big bass over there yesterday and now they think they're going to catch it again. You know, there's more of them over there. It's a pure happenstance. Yeah, there happened to be a bass cruising by there, they caught it. And now they're going to spend, spend all day trying to get it again. Or just thinking there's more there. These, these fish are moving. I can see it on my electronics. They're not sitting still. groups of fish and then by the time I cast on them they're already gone. Um, you know, they're constantly moving, they're not just sitting in the area. line stretch in there and I'm flipping these fish and um, stretching out that line right there with rod tip so I'm gonna stop doing that I'm gonna start netting these fish you know, just in case I get a, get big let's move from back the 18 inches 16 18 inches a little bit better distance a lot of times with the mojo rig and Carolina rig it's actually the weight that attracts the fish for some reason I come up and they'll stare at that weight and then they see something trailing behind it and then they hit that bit. I don't know why, but that's really what's going on. Especially like the yeah, so it's clicking. They hear that clicking noise and they come over because it sounds like crawfish or something. They hear that clicking noise and then they see the bait trailing it.
big. It's showing it's big. Big, it's big, all right. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Told you there's some go. All right. That's a big one right there. Whew. Whew. It's hard to hold on to. Slimy and big and powerful. All right, there we go. Big old guy. Look at that thing. That little catch. Hopefully I got that last fish on recorded because it was a nice one. That was about two and a half pounds. It was a nice fish. Let's see if we can get another one. <clears throat> Alright, let's get another one. So it's just a little flat here. May not even be eight foot deep. Lots of fish cruising around right here, obviously. Some grass up there channel here, pond over there, creek channel here, main river channel coming through, deep hole, another channel that way and another one that way. Kind of give you an idea of what the area I'm fishing. Yeah, there's that gar over there. I don't know. There's another one over here. Head shaker. That skills weren't that good. Another nice one. It's probably right at two pounds. Not bad. Good old head shaker. Good old two pounder. <laughs> <laughs> 